guys, what's up? It's Isaac. I'm going to be showing you how to import videos from your GoPro. So what you're first going to do is you're going to have your GoPro with video on it, obviously. And then you're going to need your USB port that you got with, um, a port, USB cable that you got with your, um, GoPro when you bought it. So what you're first going to do is you're going to take your USB end, and you're going to plug it into the back of your computer or wherever your, um, USB port is located. And then once you have that, you're going to turn on your GoPro. This is important. You always want to turn it on before you plug it in. And then you just insert the cable, uh, as I'm doing here. Okay. I usually set it down like this so it doesn't tip over if the table shakes or something. Okay, so that's how to plug it in. And now I'm going to show you how to import. Okay, now that we have um, your GoPro connected to your computer, what you're first going to do, or what I do, is I usually use iPhoto or iMovie. The reason I don't use Finder is because you have to transfer it over to iPhoto or iVideo or iMovie. Sorry. Um, and then it saves twice as many times, which you wouldn't think it would, but it does. I figured out because I deleted um, a video from here. And it actually took my memory down, and then I deleted one from here, from um, iMovie, and it made the memory go down. So, depending on where you have it stored, it really doesn't matter, it's just how you get to it. Okay, so on, I, on iPhoto, what you have is you have them pulled up, and it, you cannot, I'm clicking the space button, you cannot go into the videos, it's just showing you what they look like. So when you're done, it'll pull this up when you plug in um, any video device, even your phone. So once you clicked on it, selected the, where the yellow goes around it, you just click Import Selected. Or if you want to, you can um, import all, but you really don't need to do that unless, unless you want all the videos that you have. And then once you have it imported, then you can look at the video. And the re other reason I like is you can go in and trim the video. So then it's taking up less storage on your computer. Okay, so that's how you do it on iPhoto. On iMovie, it's a little bit easier and a little bit more simple. Okay, you go to Import. And then you can scroll through. And you can, um, you still have to import the entire thing. And sadly, you can't trim it. That's why I like to save it in iPhoto. And then it's just my events. But if you want to save it here, because if you just like like saving it to i um iMovie, it's just as easy to get to the videos over here as iPhoto Library. It's just as easy. But this is another way you can do it, and then you just select it and you just click Import Selected. But I would definitely use iPhoto before anything because it's just it's just you can trim it. It's easier to get to, and it's just right here, right here. You can click on it. It's just as easy as clicking on. If you had it in um, if you had it in your iMovie uh, software, so that's how to import files from your GoPro. Thanks for watching. Rate and subscribe and watch for more videos. Thanks.